Hello everybody, welcome to Greenhorn Barbecue and Beer. If you're new to the channel, my name is Todd, and I'm hoping you guys are having a wonderful day. It's Labor Day weekend, it's, it's, it's sunny, it's uh, beautiful, it's warm, and whatever you're doing, make sure you're having fun. So today what we're going to do is a little comparison for some different charcoal briquettes that I've been seeing around the stores, and I've been hesitant to use them because I've heard all kinds of different things about them. So what we have here, and I've disguised the innocent, are some different flavors of charcoal briquettes. We have apple pecan mesquite, and then we have their uh, professional competition series, which I think are just a little bit larger. And um, I try not to use charcoal briquettes in the smoker, in the, uh, in the yoder. Um, I usually save that one for uh, strictly hardwood and uh, maybe charcoal to get started. One of the things about charcoal that you should know, charcoal briquettes, uh, and this brand in particular, is that they're made about five different, five or six different areas of the United States. Um, they're really uh, high tech, and very sophisticated how they make them. It's essentially sawmill shavings of all kinds of different mixed woods and uh, sawdust and, and things like that. And what they do is they, they heat it up uh, to high temperatures in a nearly oxygen free environment, basically getting rid of all the oils and the contaminants and uh, things like that, leaving only the the carbon and the, uh, the pure uh, fuel left behind. But what they do in the process of making these charcoal briquettes, I'm sorry, charcoal briquettes, is that they add everything from cornstarch to uh, other chemicals and compounds, um, even to make that chalky color when they're ready to go on your grill. Uh, that's from an additive, and you could read all about it if you want to Google it. But um, so the bottom line is that there's a lot of additives in charcoal briquettes. Now what's supposed to give the briquettes a flavor of mesquite, apple wood, are actual uh, shavings of actual wood. And we're gonna take a look at that right now. But we're, what we're also gonna do is cook up four different burgers for you. And we're gonna get Sassy to be the guinea pig, the taste tester. And she's not gonna know which burger got cooked with which briquettes. It's gonna be a, I don't know, a single blind, double blind, whatever you wanna call it. And she's going to do her best to kind of describe the flavor for us once it's been cooked. And then uh, once she can't take it anymore, I guess I'll reveal which uh, briquette was the one that uh, she tasted. So if you're new to the channel, consider becoming a subscriber and go ahead and hit the bell so that you'll get more updates whenever we upload. We're going to try to upload every Wednesday and Friday morning. Be sure to follow the links in the description below and, and don't forget it doesn't cost you anything more to follow our link to Amazon and find some of the products that we use on this video or other videos that you've seen around town. It just helps support our channel. Okay, behind door number one, we're gonna go with competition blend. Door number two, Applewood. Door number three, Pecan. And door number four, we're gonna go with the mesquite. Now putting these things, uh, sorry I say things a lot, side by side. Sorry, I'm a little sweaty today. And I've tried to be fair and just grab pieces that have a lot of wood in them. But again, we've got the competition, the apple wood, the pecan, and the mesquite. Now you can see the natural wood chips that are in them. And the professional obviously has no wood chips. You can see they're all about the same size. Now on the mesquite, we actually got a couple briquettes that don't appear to have any wood in them at all. I'm not sure if that was just a manufacturing faux, faux pas, but uh, that's what came out of the bag. Obviously the pecan, the applewood, and the competition. Okay, so here's gonna be the test, the scientific test. Here's the professional. Okay, it looks like about seven tenths of an ounce. The applewood, a little heavier, about eight tenths of an ounce. The pecan, 
eight tenth of an ounce and the mesquite same thing eight tenths of an ounce so basically looks like you're getting a little bit more mass if you go with the flavored wood uh, chunk charcoal okay what we got here for beef is this 8020 from a discount food chain that we have here locally there's nothing special about this at all except 8020 make sure you always get the 8020 you'll have much better results so what we're going to do is make four little patties now you notice you can see that this thing's been put through a meat grinder of some kind this is what you want to get don't get pre-made patties you have no idea what it looks like and i'm going to measure these just to make sure that uh, that we're even that's about a three and a half ounce what do you think is that big enough we're going to end up making sliders and we're only taste testing these things so i'm just going to squish that down into a real basic patty nothing special there we go nice three and a half ounce patty a little bit more that'll do it all right more three and out three and a half ounce again smash smash it into another little meat patty okay okay we got three good even little taster meat patties here all the nooks and crannies and if deb doesn't like these oh i don't i don't know who's gonna All right, as you can see, we got the uh, charcoal going. We lit all four the same exact way as much as we could. And I'm just gonna wait for it to ash up. And I'm gonna even them out, put the grate on, and start growing up these burgers. Okay, it definitely looks like the competition blend is taking off and getting lit a lot quicker than the flavored charcoal. And those three look pretty even. So I'm gonna start smoothing these things out and put on the grate. Okay, here we go. Four beef patties. Let's go with the competition blend. Applewood. Pecan and mesquite. She's not allowed to know which one's which. So, shh. All right, so these are doing really good. I was going to try my laser thermometer surface temperature thing on these, but. The coal is just too hot. It goes beyond the 600 degrees. So, but let me just tell you, they are definitely all very hot. Uh, my guess is that they would probably be all pretty close. And maybe the competition briquette might be a little different. But I just, sorry, I just can't tell you right now. So as you guys can see, there's a lot of smoke from the briquettes themselves, especially over on this side. It's probably because of the wood chips that are within the... Uh, coals themselves creating a lot of extra wood typically when you cook with charcoal especially in a smoker once they turn chalky white you're supposed to get just a nice blue smoke out of that and that's actually a uh, chemical additive that they put in the charcoal to give it that chalky color anyway you're going to see a little bit more smoke obviously with these briquettes and the goal is to cook hot and fast because you really can't control the amount of smoke 
with these briquettes it's going to be the same all the way through you're not going to be able to really tone that smoke down so that's that's one drawback from the briquettes and as usual i know you guys know this when the color on the side of the burger starts to get up about halfway gray it's time to flip them and i'm going to go for a medium well to almost a well done all the way through these now some some of you might say these are too close and the smoke is going to transfer from one pan to the other but i say that this is more of a direct grilling comparison and any flavor that the charcoal puts in the meat it's going to happen right on top i think this the smoke is blowing away too quickly to really affect that that burger right next to it so i think it's still going to be a pretty good comparison Our taste test now. What we've got here are three hamburger patties. That looks like four. Sorry, four hamburger <laughs> patties that we cooked on the uh, charcoal, kind of a homemade little charcoal grill there, and still kind of smoking away. And we're going to go ahead and uh, start with the first one. We're going to go ahead and start with the first one. I heard you the first time. Can't move that plate. Okay, why not? Because you're not allowed to. <laughs> okay. So don't try to guess what kind of wood it was. I just want you to tell me what the flavor profile, what it is that you're tasting. How's it, how's it taste? It tastes pretty yummy. I'm hungry. <laughs> It kind of tastes like some kind of, it kind of tastes nutty. Okay, nutty? Mm hmm Is there any charcoal taste? Not so much. I don't taste real mm -hmm. presence of a charcoal. I mean, it's a hint, but that's it. But Do you mostly, like it? Mm hmm Is it done enough? Oh, yeah. Okay. Pretty yummy. Okay, do you, do you taste any kind of wood or any kind of uh, anything else in there? Hmm. All right, let's go with uh, number two. Boy. Okay, let me know what you taste. Okay, no opinion. I have no opinion. Okay, okay she has no opinion number two. Number three. <laughs> I just smell it. Okay, number three. You like it? Mm-hmm. Now that I taste this one, I'm thinking this one tastes like, um, kind of like mesquite. This is number two. And this one? I'm really not sure about this one. Okay, so that's, uh, we'll just call that one number three. Okay, and how about this one? That one's number four. How's number four? This one tastes a little, um, like fruity, like. Fruity? Mm hmm Okay. So number four is fruity. Number three, you said it tastes like no opinion. Let's try this again. You have, oh, a, no. you have a look of shock on your face. This one, I thought this one tasted, number one tasted nutty, but this one, 
I'm getting a hint of like pecan. Is it? <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna tell you yet. Okay, and number two, you had no opinion on. You still don't have an opinion on number two? Let me try it yeah. again. In other words, it doesn't taste like anything? Nothing's a flavor, I guess. It's a flavor of nothing. I don't know, is nothing a flavor? I don't taste, I'm not tasting anything, except for this meat is really good. <laughs> okay, back to number one, you thought it was? I thought it was pecan, but I may be mistaken. So now there's, you think one and four are pecan. Okay. Hickory? Which one do you like the best? Hmm. I'm okay, let's go. I like this one. Okay, you pointed at number four. Yeah. Okay. So let's go, let's reveal number two. Go ahead and slide that plate back toward you. <gasps> Applewood. God, I suck. <laughs> okay, so you didn't taste any apple on that? No, are you sure? Take, take another bite. What does it taste like to you? Nothing? Okay. I can taste it. I mean, it's good, but... All right. Which one do you reveal next? Let's pull number three. Keep pulling. Pecan. Ah! So you thought one and four were pecan. No, I didn't. I yeah, said this did. one. I thought that, this one was apple. That one you said mesquite. Pay I'll, attention. Watch the video again. I'll, I'll rewind it and we'll get the truth. No, I thought this one was... Now that I tasted this one again, I said this one was pecan. So I did good. Back to number one, you thought it was... I thought it was pecan, but I may be mistaken. Okay, so that one's pecan. Okay. Okay, next plate, number four. Ah! Mesquite. Oh, wow. It was still really good. Okay, so number four, mesquite. Yeah, can I do number one already? Check. I think there's only one, possibly one left. That's the Competition Pro. That's the plain briquettes that they say is a competition blend or competition okay, size. Okay, so then I didn't really have anything to say about that, but I really, I liked the pecan one. I think you said number one was pecan at one point. Yeah, and, and then number I changed my mind. four was pecan at one no, point. No, it's number three. Okay. Don't argue with the queen. So the bottom line is, which do you like more? Okay. I like this one. The number one competition mm -hmm. blend, which has no wood chips in it. And I like this one. Which is I like the pecan. number three pecan. Did you want to taste it? All right. So I'm going to go with number one, the competition blend that Deb liked the most. So I taste really just the meat, mm -hmm. very little smoke. Um, it's almost, dare I say, like cooking on gas. I'm not sure. Let's go with the apple wood. I don't know. Right? Hard to tell, hard to tell. Um, I'm going to say that one's like the regular, and then I'm going to go for the uh, pecan. You can taste the pecan in that. Hmm. It's good. So I'm picking up something in the char, in the, in the crust or so, but uh, not so much. I can't tell whether it's pecan or not. Um, let's go with the mesquite. Hmm. I don't know. What are your favorites? I like I like them all. I don't like the competition. It's, actually, it's not that I don't like it. Um, it's just a plain taste. Um, I think if I did a burger on the competition blend, I would have to do a lot of sauce and cheese and and, and, and uh, season it with salt and pepper every step of the way. It um, doesn't have a lot of its own flavor. So it's worth saying that uh, I didn't put any salt and pepper on any of these. I didn't season them. It's just plain meat just to try to unmask any of that, uh, that wood right? flavor. I didn't. I liked it. Here, give me this. What you're tasting is the char. I like the pecan and I like that one. 
and I like the mesquite one. But that one, after tasting those ones, after going back, I didn't think it was pecan. It didn't taste like candy. They're, those are pretty delicious for not having any um, condiments or seasoning on them. Not bad. All right, guys, there you go. So it really looks like uh, it, it makes no difference uh, on any of these until you put condiments on there. Maybe if you put them in the smoker, you might have a different result. But uh, uh, personally, they all four tasted the same to me. Uh, unless we were tasting the crust and, and then there might have been a slight little hint of wood on them but I, I didn't notice any well, difference. Hope you got a lot from this. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like and subscribe to the video. Uh, we'd love to hear about your experience with charcoal down in the comments. Tell us what you think and until next time see you later. Cheers! <laughs>